Well, hey friends and neighbors, this is Chuck out at Sheraton Park Farms. Welcome back to the farm. So a common question that I see on a lot of different pig groups on Facebook, different message boards, websites, and that kind of thing is how can I tell if my pig is pregnant? Well, it just so happens we've got seven gilts right there behind me, seven gilts back here, six of which have been artificially inseminated about three months ago. And when we came down this morning uh, to do our morning chores, we were noticing some very distinct physical changes in these girls, particularly the six that have been inseminated versus the one that has not. And so let's talk about that today. Let's kind of show you what we've discovered or what we've, what we've observed on our farm with these girls here um, and the ones that we think are pregnant, what's going on with them. Also, stick around to the end. I've got an announcement on um, an event that we've got coming up here on the farm. And if you're interested in pig farming, it may be something you want to check out. So stick around to the end, but let's talk about how you tell if your pig is pregnant. Here is our guilt group. All of these girls here are about 11 months old, not quite 11 months old. Um, and they are all they have all been artificially inseminated except for one. And we'll point her out here in just a minute. These girls were all artificially inseminated um, about three months ago. Yeah, about three months ago. And so we've got one or two in here that is within, a, you know, about three weeks, about 20 days, give or take a little bit, um, of actually farrowing. So this morning when we came down, um, we started to notice some very distinct physical changes in some of these girls, and we thought that we would point those out, since is my pig pregnant, a common question. So one of the first things that we noticed was on this girl here, for example. Her teats are starting to really develop and take a turn towards the outside, uh, towards the lateral side, of her stomach on each side. She's also becoming a bit more pot-bellied or much more rounder in the middle than, for example, our girl who's not pregnant. Let's see if we can find her. <clears throat> so this little red girl up here, the very top, is not pregnant. And she is much slimmer through the middle, for example, than the red girl that's standing next to her. Let's see if we can get a good, yeah, there's a, that's a pretty good shot. Notice this one here, she's much tighter, uh, not hanging down quite as low compared to this girl over here. If you can see the teats on this girl, not very developed at all, real close to uh, her abdomen. They're not sticking down very much. They're not very, not very pronounced. Whereas if we come back over here and look at this girl, she does have much more pronounced teats. So another thing that we've noticed, and we thought this was a wives tale, but apparently it's not. And it holds true here, particularly on gilts. If you look at the pig's vulva, you'll notice that part of her anatomy is pointed towards the sky. This is one that has been artificially inseminated. That holds true for all of these girls that have been inseminated. Pointed upward. Here's another one, let's see here. Yeah, she's pointed upward as well. But again, back on our girl that is not, who's laying nice and still for us now. You notice her vulva is pointed back towards the ground. It's pointed downward. So again, this one's not been inseminated. Very little teat um, maturation, very tight to her abdomen, really small compared to these other girls that are, uh, we know have been uh, inseminated and appear to have settled. The uh, primary way that you can tell that a pig is pregnant, pigs will come into their heat cycle every 21 days and when we inseminate on that 21st day while the pig is in standing heat, we'll count forward three weeks, another 21 days, and if she does not come back into heat, then that also 
is a primary sign that she has settled and is indeed pregnant. And here's another shot. You can kind of see how these girls are really, they're really rounding out. Um, belly's hanging a little bit lower on these girls than it is on the one that has not been inseminated. And I was trying to find the one that was AI'd first. I think it's actually this girl here. I think she's first to Pharaoh. Big black girl up here, she's going to be last to Pharaoh. She was the last one that we inseminated. Again, she's not as pronounced in the abdomen or in the teats as um, some of the other girls that were inseminated earlier. She was the last one. Some of these girls are about four and a half, five weeks ahead of her just because of a heat cycle issue that we ran into here. But So again, these are all of our girls that have been inseminated. They should be pregnant. And those are some of the signs that we've noticed on these girls that uh, tell us that they're pregnant. Ain't that right there, mama? Yes. So those are the physical signs that we've noticed on our gilts that have been artificially inseminated that apparently have settled. We did notice the upturned vulva a couple of months ago, probably six weeks or so. Uh, but then over the past couple of days, the rounding of the belly, the teats becoming much more mature, increased appetite, uh, all those things lead us to believe, again, that these girls are, are indeed pregnant. And there is a stark contrast between the six that were inseminated and the one that was not. So those are some of the signs that we've noticed and that we think are indicators of a pregnancy in a pig. Now, what's the announcement? So a few days ago, we done a video uh, talking about pastured poultry and we are gonna be doing a pastured poultry class here at Sheraton Park Farms um, where we're gonna teach folks how to actually process your own pastured poultry. A lot of hands-on kind of stuff. And that class is actually sold out. I'm working on putting another one together for a little later in the year. So if you're interested in that, um, there'll be more information to come. But over the course of putting that class together, I had a bunch of requests from folks. Hey, have you thought about doing a pastured pig class? So you asked and we're gonna deliver. On May the 6th here at Sheraton Park Farms 2021, we're gonna do a pastured pork class. This is gonna be geared toward folks that are either interested in getting started in pastured pork, or if you've just got started, or if you, even if you've been doing it for a couple of years uh, and wanna learn some of the methods and some of the things that we do here on the farm uh, that may make your operation easier, this class is absolutely geared for you. We're gonna talk all things pastured pigs. We're gonna talk about where and how to find piglets. We're gonna talk a little bit about artificial insemination, utilization of a boar, all the way through um, cut sheets and getting your pig to pork chops and putting that pork chop in your freezer. So it's gonna be a full day. Um, half the day will be classroom based. The other half will be out in the field. We're gonna be doing a lot of demonstrations. We're gonna be doing some fencing demonstrations. We're gonna show a um, training pen set up. And if we've got our timing right, we should have some boars that are gonna be ready to be castrated. So we hope to be able to do a castration demonstration uh, on that same day. There will be a farm to table meal included. We're gonna fix something that was grown right here on the farm. Um, Sondra's excited about doing a little bit of cooking for a big group. She loves feeding people. So if that sounds interesting to you, I'm gonna post a link in the description down below. You can go on there. Uh, there'll be a little more information. Ticket information will be on there. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Send me a message through YouTube, through Facebook, or my email, chuck at SheratonParkFarms.com. Be glad to help you any way we can. We're gonna offer a discounted ticket. If you're a paying, paying attendee of the class and you wanna bring a spouse, a buddy, a business partner, whatever the deal is, don't care if you're bringing you know, a neighbor from down the road who has no interest in pigs, we're gonna give you a discount on that second ticket. So more information in the description down below, go down there and check that out. So I think that's gonna do it for today's video. If you've not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. As always, I'll post a couple of links over here, other stuff we've got going on. But uh, we appreciate y'all watching. We appreciate the support everybody's giving us. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. Thanks.